Morning, Warren. Uh, Morning. Just uh, after the, the win last week, what, what's the mood been like in the camp after the FA Cup win? Um, to be fair, the mood's been remarkably good all the way through. You know, I, I think we've obviously had our setbacks, we've had a few kicks in the teeth. You know, certainly I thought we deserved the win, thoroughly deserved the win uh, against Forest. You know, but I, I think the mood's been good all the way through anyway. Now the reward for that was, was obviously the Man United game away, which is fantastic for the club. Does that become a distraction for the players, or is it something that you can use as an incentive? Or do you it's just not, think you it's forget not really about it? something anybody's really talked about or mentioned. You know, the main concern is obviously, you know, the game this weekend, and and that's the way we'll be from now to the end of the season. You know, just taking one game at a time and all our focus on that game, and you know, trying to win every game that we play. What, what uh, in terms of Burton itself, it's a complete contrast to Derby, the last last game, it's a very tight ground. What can we expect from uh, from this game? Yeah, obviously the, we, we know the really hard working side, well organised, well disciplined side, a big team who, who compete, so we've got to more than match their effort at the start of the game. You know, different set of problems, each team has their own philosophy, own style of play, and, and we've got to be able to adapt that we can, you know, match anybody in whichever style they're playing and impose ourselves on, on them with our style of play. And in terms of the occasion, obviously it's, it's a chance to get some points back on a team just above us. Is that something that concerns the players at all yourself or are you just completely focused on the game? It's, it's three points at stake, you know, it's usually just looking at that in every game. You know, you want to win every game. Um, if that three points makes it six points because you've got that much closer, well that's a bonus at the end of it, but you can't think that before the game, we've just got to go approach the game the same way and trying to win every game that we play. Okay, in, in terms of injuries, you, you obviously told us about Nick Powell last, last week, what's the update on him and have you got anything else you can tell us about injuries? Um, it's going to be a while, um, it's not quite as bad as we thought but but time will tell on that one, you know, we thought it might have to be an operation at first, um, but I don't think it's that bad so we'll just assess it the next few weeks, but it'll be several weeks certainly before we really know um, the outcome and the full extent or how long it'll be out, so it's not certainly not the foreseeable future you've seen back in, in the group. But there was talk of him not appearing again this season, is that maybe a bit premature? Or? Um, maybe, but you, you just have to assess it as the weeks go on. I think we'll have a better picture in that probably four, four weeks down the line really. And in terms of the other players who've been out at the moment, Kellett, Morgan, Perkins, what can you tell us about that? Little bits of training, you know, not enough to be available for the weekend, but little bits yesterday where they just joined in a warm up, so, you know, it would certainly be good to see them out on the grass again, um, you know, but not available for this weekend. In terms of the transfer window, we've just got a couple of weeks to go yet. What, what can you tell any updates in terms of ins or outs? Well, obviously, you, you know, you, you're looking and assessing and asking questions all the time and seeing who's available and who's not available. and. and you know, like I've said prior to the window opening, it's certainly not an easy window to bring players in unless you've got vast sums of money because nobody wants to lose the best players. Um, and most teams, the way the point system is, have got a chance of either going one way and don't want to be dragged into a dogfight the other way. So difficult to get you know experienced players in who know the jobs, know the roles, are at the top of the game, flying and could come in at super fit. You know, ready to go. That's the difficulty of this window. But obviously, we're trying to get people through the door. That's obviously something that's been happening. Yeah, you, you, you're trying all the time. You know, you've been trying since, you know, the day you arrived at the club, just looking and seeing what's available. But it doesn't make that any easier. You know, like I said, unless there's vast sums of money, which sometimes it seems to be knocking around in this league at the minute as well, where there's been activity where people have gone for a lot of dough already. A final final question from us this morning. How's uh, Ravel Morrison doing? Obviously, it's been publicised. He's been here. What's what's how's he, how's he shaping? Yeah, it's just day by day. Obviously, he's you know not done a lot for a long period of time now. So you're just assessing, still continuing assessing his fitness and how long it would take to get him back to what he was really.